What's up, fellas? Obi here, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer? And we already all know the answer to that. It's me. I think this is a game about being smart, and when you answer the questions right, you just get to start capping people, and maybe you make a lot of money or something. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. We just go, we just go jump in and see what happens. Warning, sensitive content simulated. Okay, that went really fast. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Twisted Spectacle that is Aberration. Button, 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 button. Button? Wait, what? Huh? Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up. But enough for me, let's dive in and meet our first... Dude, it's going too fast! And now from the bustling metropolis of Chicago... Okay, Sarah Thompson, Sarah Thompson, so much for Sarah Thompson. We got one. Let's keep it gentlemen like here. For the concrete jungle of New York where dreams come true, we have enigmatic Richard Greystone. Next up, straight from United States of America, with the skill and determination, our wild card participant, Gooby's Fun Zone. Hello, everyone. Ready to shake things up? That's what I said. And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction. Whispers of the occult echo through the night. Inscrutable Edgar Darkwood. And there you have it, viewers. Our motley crew of contestants. All right. All right. I can't read this anyways because it's going too fast. I'm, I'm trying to click the skip. I'm clicking to skip it. I think I broke it. I broke the game. Here we go. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test. That's my brain, I think. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths. It's your turn, Gooby's Fun Zone. You ready? Which ancient civilization Believed in human sacrifice to appease their gods. Okay, what are we seeing here? Can I Google this? No, no. Which one? Now, in the movie with the Spartans, they kicked the dude in the hole. There was a lot of sacrificial stuff going on. Was that the Romans or the Greeks, though? I feel like the Aztecs might have did some sacrifices. The Egyptians, I, I I think at one point they sacrificed goats. No. I'm gonna go with Aztecs. And the answer is... I'm a freaking genius. I'm a freaking genius. I knew it. I knew it. Do I get to shoot someone? I made $10,000? The Aztecs, masters of both pyramids, construction, and human resources made the most. At the heights they reached. Here we go, Richard. Question time. What is the name of the infamous female serial killer who bathed in the... The, get that. the answers are... Let me let me see if I get it right, though. A famous female serial killer. Bell Guns? Mary Ann Cotton? Elizabeth Bathory? Or Elite? I'm going to say it's Elizabeth because she has the word bath in her name and she used to bathe in the blood. I actually think it was the cotton one, though. Mary Ann Cotton? Ooh, that's what I would have guessed. The answer is... It was Elizabeth Bathory! She had the bath in her name! It makes sense. All right, now we got Sarah's question. Nobody, nobody panicked. Which infamous cult leader orchestrated the mass... Whoa, I can't say that. Of his followers in Jonestown... Guyana. I don't even know these words. Marshall Applewhite, Jim Jones, Charles Manson. I don't think he did the. No, but maybe he did. That's the only name I know. Jim Jones. I would have guessed Charles Manson. I know he was a murderer though. Oh, it was Jim Jones. Yo, we we getting educated. We learning today, but we learning about the wrong subjects. Jim Jones, the People's Temple Cult. 
Edgar, here's the question. Which famous author is rumored to have a fascination with the, the occult? I don't know these words. Charles, Jane? It's not Edgar Allan Poe. No, it might be. It didn't say it was a murderer. It said a fascination. The Raven. Because Edgar Allan Poe wrote The Raven. Right? Mark Twain. I think it's Edgar Allan Poe. Charles? I would have got that one right. I would have got that one right. I would have got like two right. Okay. Okay, listen up. Listen up. With that, we're taking a short break from our sponsors, but don't wander off my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a, a bloody exciting game. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Okay. Well, except when it comes to the mini game with a knife, of course. My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Fuck talk. With this knife game coming up, who knows what'll happen. I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if you'll make it through in one piece. Sarah? I don't know if I can do this, Scooby Sponzo. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game might be tough, but we'll through it together. You, you really think so? Okay, Gooby Sponzo. Let's do this. Ready for the knife game? Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. I don't know what the knife game is. I'm guessing we just start stabbing people? <laughs> I don't know. So, Gooby Sponzo, are you ready to continue? I'm ready. Excellent. Okay. Okay, we're back on air. Before we drive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy absolutely free. Now it's time for our first mini game. What? Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here are the rules. You will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. Okay, give me two knives then. I'm just gonna start. Just start stabbing. They, they must touch the table with the tip of the knife. Avoiding any mishaps with their hands. We're playing the game where you gotta stab the table between the fingers. Don't ever play that. It's stupid. If you're gonna play it, play it with a plastic spoon, and then with the plastic spoon, put a piece of rubber over the tip of it anyways, just in case. Make it, just play with a pillow, honestly. At the end of the timer, the contestants, with the, just don't play it. Okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm getting nervous. Oh, I missed a freebie. Ooh. Okay, it's getting faster. I'm gonna lose all my fingers. How am I doing this? Am I so kind of... How'd I do? Yo, I got 28! I'm this guy at the top! I, I didn't lose my pinky like twice, but that's okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the first elimination. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding us adieu tonight is not other than... Richard. Yo, this... I think there's a lawnmower down there. Richard got lawnmowered. He can't really be dead, can he? Those screams sent chills down my spine. Oh, there were screams? I didn't hear that! Now the game truly begins. Edgar, you look a little too hyped for this. Here we are. Let's continue with the show. Okay, I need to answer some more questions. Second round of questions, okay. When a contestant's moral fiber will be put under the microscope. This is $10,000 again. Okay. Okay. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under their weight of their own conscience. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Here's the question. You find a diary detailing so much darkest secrets. What's your next move? Read it aloud during a live stream. Read it and then return it. Use the information to your advantage or respect the owner's privacy. Does it want me to make the worst choice or the best choice? 
in real life, it's A, I respect the owner's privacy. Because sometimes you just don't want to pry. You just don't want to. Because sometimes you learn things you don't even want to learn. But am I trying to be mean? I don't know. My next move? Use the information to your advantage? I mean, if I'm going for a personal gain, then yes, it would be this. I'm going to say you... I'm going to say that one. I'm going to say I use it for my personal gain. Because this is a game show about killing people, right? So, secrets. Secrets are no fun unless they're shared with everyone. Oh, I think I got half of it right. I was supposed to throw it out there. Okay, I get the rules now. I understand. You're orphaned immortality, but innocent lives must be sacrificed. What's your answer? Well, in this game show, you just sacrifice everyone and you go immortal. Full, full god mode. Rationalize sacrifices for longevity. Eagerly embrace immortality. Reject it. Value life. Accept the reluctance. I don't know what that means. So I would just take the whole thing. Accept with reluctance. Oh, that means she's accepting immortality, but she's like, mm, I'm not sure about that. Oh, which? Okay. So she got like the same amount of money as me. Edgar, here's the question. You witness someone poisoning a stray animal. Oh, uh-uh. You kill him. The answers are, offer to refine the technique for a fee. Rush to the aid of the animal, yes. Ignore it, nature takes its course, no. Confront and report the perpetrator. Oh, we gonna confront, we gonna ask the beat up, and we are gonna save the animal all at the same time. Offer to refine their techniques. See, this guy, he's dark, he evil, y'all. He gonna get the most points, too. He got 15,000 points. Okay. All right, so now that we understand what we have to do here, we just gotta be the worst people possible. Okay, we have peeled back some layers like an onion. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. They side each other up and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The vote and phase is up next. Stay tuned after the short break. We'll reveal the two finalists of this twisted little game. If you out there watching to help, don't forget to call out toll-free number to join us. Okay. Oh, don't do that. You don't want to be in this game show. There's always a need for fresh faces. Bowton? I uh, didn't sign up for this. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Okay, so, I guess we could talk. Sarah, how we doing? I can't believe I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. What, me? Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. So, Gooby's Fun Zone, are you ready to continue or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Bring the questions on. Okay. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. So, we got back in. Here's a quick shop and advice. Looper, the last mission. A small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. And it's available at the incredible price of $0. So, it's free? What? Hold on, I think, wait, hold on, what are we doing? All right, so we're starting the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. Edgar. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants will be eliminated and there's no winner. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. Here's the problem. Sarah, last round, she judged my character. I think she doesn't like me anymore. I think she's gonna vote for me. Edgar is probably gonna vote for Sarah because he probably thinks she's the weakest, mentality-wise. We're gonna vote for Sarah, y'all. I need some time to think. Please vote for me. No, vote for Edgar. She did vote for Edgar? Sarah, I'm so sorry. I thought you was gonna try to murder me. Sarah, no! And finally, the champ. He voted for Sarah. If I would have voted for Edgar, we would have had him out. We have a winner, or should I say, an eliminated contestant. But so I thought she was going to vote for me. From her response, she judged me last round. She said mean words to me. 
Okay. Each correct answer in this final round will earn you a whopping $25,000. I'm up 10K, but it doesn't matter. If I lose the round and he wins the round, he wins the round. The game. Okay, question's up. How long can a person survive without food or water under normal conditions? Okay. You can survive three to five days without water. You can survive three days without water. You can survive more than 12 days without food. But this is food or water. It's three to five days. You can go three days without water. But what are the conditions? Under normal conditions. It's three to five. The answer is correct. Boom. Okay. Desperation sets in. Primal instinct takes over. Survival becomes paramount. Yeah. As long as you get water, though, you're good. You don't need food for five days. You can go a long time without food, y'all. Edgar, here's your moment. What is the minimum core body temperature required for human survival? Oh, I'm glad I didn't get that one. 20? I think it's B? Oh, for the minimum? Maybe it's 77? No. I feel like if I hit... I don't know. 30, uh, 90 to 95? I think it's kind of high. But if you fall into a freezing ocean for like five minutes and hypothermia kicks in, you're going to die. But in that moment, is your core temperature below that? 90 degrees Fahrenheit? And then someone picks you up, gives you CPR, brings you back, and warms you up? I don't know. I don't know. Hypothermia thermia is chilling in brace. Oh. So that, that's the level of hypotherm. Oh. Then after that, you die? I don't know how it works. It's time for our last commercial break. Okay. Our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills. A real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope you're all handy with a rifle. Wait, what? I'm sorry, but even you can't escape the inevitable. Good luck. But I have more money than you. Does that count for anything? Maybe I get more bullets? Okay. I'm ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Astronomy. Uh, Astronius multiplayer where you explore the universe. What are you? I don't read these words. Who's the fool paying us to promote these? What? Ladies and gentlemen, the steam finalists, perhaps by now you've grabbed the, grasped the essence and purpose of the spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested out contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife minigame. In the second phase, we probed the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate. In the final phase of questioning, we assessed whether you know the method, and if you made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action. And so in this last phase, you'll be armed with the rifle in 30 seconds of time. Whoever managed to take out the most people from the audience. We're going for the audience? <gasps> people are ducking. <laughs> This is terrible! I feel like I'm winning. I feel like I'm crushing it. I'm killing it. Oh, I can't go. Oh, okay. I was gonna try to spin around and kill Echo, but I can't. <laughs> this is stupid. Who would sign up to be on this game show? It's obviously hosted on TV, yeah? I mean, I, I've only missed a few shots. Oh, I tried to get the tip of the person's head. Oh. There's some ducks here. Did I get them all? I got 30. I think I killed everyone. <laughs> I'm a mass, mass murderer tonight. All right, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than... No, please, don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Gooby's Fun Zone. That's right. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt. 
the adrenaline rush of a kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crowd our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Ended to a four. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Is this manly bad? Well, I can't say his YouTube channel, but is that him? He got 39 kills. Wait, did I not? I thought it. Wait, what? What is the name of the mythical creature sent to lure sailors to their doom? That's the, uh, oh, the mermaid does that. Right? The mermaid lured sailors to their doom. Or was it the siren? I know the Leviathan and Kraken are super dangerous. I think the mermaid did it, though. But do I want to get this right? For the secret ender, do I want to lose, right? I'm going to say Leviathan, but I think the answer is Siren. It's Siren. Okay. The Sirens led him to their doom. Yeah, with their haunting melodies. All right, fellas. Knife game. But I'm going to purposely chop off my own fingers. Because I'm trying to lose, right? For the other endings. Surely losing's one of them, right? Has to be. I mean, I'm doing good at chopping my fingers off. I ain't gonna have nothing left. Oh, I'm, oh no, wait, no, I actually got some points. Surely I didn't beat anybody. Okay, good. Hold on, I think I'm the one getting eliminated. And then one, so I got one and two. Who was the infamous serial killer known as Jack the Ripper? Ooh, okay. I think his name was Hames Hames. I think, I think, um, okay, there's an H, H. Hames, Hames, Holmes? Wait, what? I thought Hames was a lot. I thought it was Hames, Hames. Wait, I'm a cooker. No, wait, what? Jack the Ripper, Ripper remains one of the most notorious other than. Wait a whole up a second. I'm about to start Googling. I'm about to start, where my Google at? I Googled it and I was wrong. I think Hames was a different serial killer. I'm like, wait, what was the question? Black Death. It's gotta be Black Death. I never heard of the Red Plague. I don't know what the question was, but I would have got it right anyways. Oh, he was talking about the bubonic plague. Dark OB, here's the question. You encounter a stranger offering you a mysterious potion with unknown effects. What do you do? Politely refuse to report the encounter? I'm gonna take that option there. I'm gonna take that option there. I'm gonna score. I'm gonna go. Politely say, no thank you. I'm going to show Richard I'm a good guy. I'm going to say I'm a good guy. The elixir of uncertainty. Will you tempt fate or play it safe? Richard says, you witness a stranger being harassed in public. What action do you take? Richard, let me see. Join in for some fun. Richard, my man. Ignore and walk away. Intervene to defend the stranger or alert the authorities. Ignore and walk away. Richard, that messed up. Wait, am I about to die? I think I... What, what are my points at? I don't know how much money I got. Am I about to die, y'all? Let me see. Eagerly embrace immortality. Shut up, Edgar, you stupid idiot. Oh, never mind. We all tied. We all tied. We tied up. Okay. Okay, so basically, me and Richard gonna have to vote this guy off. So it's coming down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Yes. Edgar the Champ, he's a trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in a fight finale. Yeah. Ooh, we playing games today. How about we vote him off and clear the path? Okay, let's do it. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. All right, I'm ready. Welcome back, folks. We're alive again. Okay, this time, I'm just gonna skip all this. We're gonna vote straight for Edgar. We're gonna knock him right off. Uh, who are you voting for? I'm gonna vote for Edgar. Richard? He voted for Edgar too. He voted, did Edgar vote for me? Edgar. There he goes. That was easy. Okay, so now what do I do though? Do I win or do I lose? Uh-oh. How long does it typically take for a lethal dose of cyanide to cause death in humans? Cyanide's quick, right? Cyanide poisoning? 
Is it a th like? Oh man, I don't know. Um. Well, I can't cut the video, so if I if I put a jump cut here, y'all gonna think I edit, like I went to Google and looked it up. I did it. Um, I'm gonna say five to ten minutes. I'm a murderer genius. I know how to murder. <laughs> I knew it was fast. I knew that. Richard, how long can a human survive without oxygen before experiencing irreversible brain damage? Is it ten minutes? No. I think it's pretty long. I think it's 12? Or is it the 25? He guessed 7 to 10. Oh, it's 7 to 10? How do people hold their breath for like 10 minutes then? Without getting brain damage? I don't know. Alright, folks. Okay, so this is it. We're going to the final. I don't know what to do here. Do I... Do I shoot people or no? Okay, I'm deliberated. I'm just going to start blasting. I'm just gonna stop blasting people. I don't care. If I get it wrong and we don't get the secret ending, whatever. I just wanna stop blasting people. I'm quicker through. I wanna get 30, I wanna get 40 kills. Focus. Bro, people are ducking! Stop ducking! You guys are cheating! Oh my goodness. I, I'm freaking out. I hate it. <laughs> what the heck? I ain't getting 39 kills. Oh my goodness. They're ducking at the last. Okay, that was pathetic, Obi. That was pathetic. I mean, I won, but... Sorry, Richard. Had to be that way, my guy. Wait, three to four murderer? Is the last ending getting so many kills? Does the ending go over how many kills you get in the crowd? got 30. I thought I got... How do you get 39? I feel like I shot the whole crowd, though. I was so focused. How do you get... How do people get 39? What? All right, fellas. I give up. I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> I can't get 39. I, is there even 39 people up there? Can you shoot mysterious people on another crowd? I don't even know. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed Who Wants to Be a Murderer? And I'll see you all in the next video.